You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Nicholas versus Nicholas. Thank you. Good day, everyone. All right. Based upon the papers submitted to the court, I can say I have never seen a case like this. Mr. Nicholas, you have brought your wife to court today. Yes, ma'am. You claim you cannot be the father of four-year-old Naomi or one-year-old Nathaniel because your wife is a habitual cheater and she cannot be trusted. You say you have shocking evidence of your wife's outrageous sexual infidelity, including encounters with strangers in public places and affairs with your coworkers. Mrs. Nicholas, you actually admit that you've made some mistakes in your marriage, but you claim you have now turned your life around and you are a church-going woman who deserves another chance. You state that once Church these point. DNA tests prove okay. Mr. Nicholas is the father of all of your children, you are hoping to repair your marriage. Mr. Nicholas. Yes, ma'am. Feel free to right. enlighten the court. Let me tell you this first of all. You know, the sushi spot I used to work at, right, is a hot stuff. People come in and then out. Right? Some guy comes up to me and tells me, shut up to my face, that my wife is performing oral sex in the bathroom. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're at work. Yeah. At the sushi restaurant. Yes, ma'am. And a guy just yeah. comes up to you. And tells me that she's performing oral sex in the bathroom. Hold up. Rewind. During your yeah. shift. Yeah, during my shift while I was working. Okay, and then you did what? I continued working. What am I supposed to do? I couldn't leave my job. And so were you ever able to prove or disprove that this really happened? No, ma'am. That's the problem. I couldn't, like, uh, it's allegations coming from other people. You know, okay, I can't... so that's hearsay. We never yeah, got it's... any proof on that. Hold the on. Co First of all, why would I bring a guy to a girl's bathroom? It's the mall. Come on, now. You, you have so many stories about yourself. Right? I the messed up in the past. That was, yeah. that was the past. We were in yeah, high school that your, time. You got a high school reputation. Come on. I know I have a lot of boyfriends and all that and mess around. What about all the stories that other people are telling me? Like, Great America. I didn't do nothing okay. with him. I just kissed him. It was my old... I'm almost afraid to ask, but please tell me that story. What, Great America? Yes. Yeah, we're in high school. You know, we're high school sweethearts. We've been together for a while. And then, you know, we... She comes up and tells me straight to my face that she made out with somebody. That I was just the, telling you the, the truth. That was the first time. She, she, she cheated on me. That was the first time. Yeah, that, that's when we were in high school. That was the past. We were in yeah, high school that time. But what about all the stories that other people are telling me? Come on now. All right, so tell us these stories you're talking about, Mr. Oh, uh, the Transformer rides. Okay, let me get that straight down. You know, she went into the Transformer rides with my seven-year-old daughter. Okay, I'll tell you that straight up. You know, I sat down because my two, you know, my one-year-old son and my four-year-old daughter can't go on a ride. All right, so I had to watch him. And then after the show was done, some lady comes up, tells, tells me straight to my face that my wife was having sex in the ride. Having sex in the ride? First of all, why would I have sex while my daughter was in the ride with me? And the but, chair just, the ride, the chair moves. Come on. I'm not that dumb. Yeah, let me get my point straight. Then why did my seven-year-old daughter come tell me straight to my face that you're jumping up and down some dude's lap? So your daughter came off the ride that she was riding with her mom yeah. and told you... Mommy's jumping around on some... Some dude's lap. That's, some that's, dude's lap. you know, after, that's after the old lady told me. The lady told me your no, name. No, you're my name? There's a bunch of girls named Angela. No, Come on no. now. I'm no. trying to... <laughs> Come on, there's a lot of people named Angela. Oh, yeah, It can't yeah. be me. Yeah. On the ride at that time with their seven-year-old child. No, yeah. what I'm trying to understand, so, Mr. Nicholas, is... Who are all these people that just feel the need to tell <laughs> you about your yeah, wife but, all the time? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't close you myself. I don't know, that we, you know, I don't know if everybody wants to try and back us up or what. I don't know. All right. Any other thing you'd like to yeah, let the, the pizza court joint. know about your wife's yeah. infidelity? Yeah. yeah. For example, the pizza joint I used to work at. Mm -hmm. You know, my manager. She was having an affair with my manager. So tell me that. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yes, I did have an affair. On top of that, every time I try to talk to you, you're just, just not you, there for me. Yeah, just because he's been buying you diapers, all that. Diapers? Yeah, every time I ask you, you just take off. You spend your money on something else. Come on now. So she asks you for money for the diapers, for the baby. Yes, ma'am. You say you give it to her. No. Nope. You say he does not. Mm-mm. That's what you do. And then yeah, because I'm stressed you, because ask you his co-worker to get you some diapers. And I need someone to talk to, and he was there to comfort me. He's, He's not in. You sleep with him, too. Mm. Mm. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. How did you find out that she had slept with the coworker that got the diapers? 
Hmm. She told me she left her panties there? I did not leave panties uh, there. What? No. No, you told me you left your panties there. Oh, my Would God. Would you know the panties were missing? I don't, I'm not understanding. No, she told me she just told me. Oh, I left my panties there. I never said that. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, she did a snap, no. too? No, I didn't take no snap. No, no, no. I just put that in now. No. Don't worry about that. Miss Nicholas, did you tell him that? No, I did no. not. How did you figure this out? Uh, first of all, her cell phone. No, I don't even talk to anybody. I've been with my kids 24-7. Where you been? I know working. you work. I know you work, working. but the time I'm... when you're not working. Time not working? Yeah, I'm with my cousin. Your cousin? Are you sure your cousin? Or the other chick? <laughs> all right. Do you have an answer to that, Mr. Nicholas? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Can I ask you one question? Is Seriously? it cheating if I were to go, you know, kick it with another female and just talk to her about my problem? Is that considered There's cheating? emotional cheating too, Mr. Nicholas. Uh, I know I've been with other guys, but I'm sorry. Yeah. I know, I know I messed up in the past. That's the past. Okay, can you please just explain to me what about the dude you slept with that looks dead on just like me? Oh, I meant that one. <laughs> oh, it just keeps getting <laughs> not better. Uh, you so, Mrs. Business. Nicholas, did you sleep with someone that looks just like your husband? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. I'm being honest with you. Yeah. I, I, I told you I wrote a letter when you were out of business. Come on now. tell the court why. Why did you do that? Yeah, tell me. Why? I'm, I'm sorry. It just looked like you. Oh. <laughs> I, you know, I mess with him, but it just looked like I was thinking about you most of the time. Come on now. I mean, you know, what other reason do I need? The reason I'm here, I want to do the DNA and prove him wrong, because I'm getting tired of him saying that, oh, they're not my kids, they're not my kids. Come on. They just look like you. But so does the other guy you slept with. Sorry. Do you understand why he potentially, maybe, could have some doubt? Do you understand? Yeah, because I cheated on him, but hey, all but the, the time when hey, I was the kids don't look like you, though. Know? They look like me, that's why. <sighs> Come on now. No, there's got to be a part of it where the kids got to look like me. Yeah, they, 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 are, they do now. What I want to know is, how did it come to this in this marriage? Ms. Nicholas, explain to me, why are you going outside of your marriage, uh, trying to find someone that looks like your husband to have sex with? Because what I'm tired, he, yeah. treat, like, he treats me like yeah. at home. Let's use better language oh, in sorry. the court. He called me names. I know I messed yeah, I up. Called, yeah, I called you names because you deserve it. No, I've been with other guys, but I'm sorry. Yeah. But Mr. Nicholas, didn't you say in high school she had? a bad reputation, and yet you still married her. Yeah, because, yeah, you know why? It's not... I married her because, you know, yeah, I was a nerd. I'll tell you that. I was fat, little chubby, little kid. You know what I mean? I was probably the rebound. You're not the rebound. <laughs> Miss Nicholas, I gotta ask you, how many affairs have you had? Miss Nicholas, I gotta ask you, how many affairs have you had? How many affairs when and I was when with him? was the last one? Yes. The last time was um, How his many? business trip. Huh? I mean, I, 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 I said roll a letter and told you the truth. Excuse me. How many? How many times? How, how, many, how, many, times? Many? how many times have you had sex? Tell how many times? Less than 10, 10 different guys. While we're still married. <laughs> While we're still married. Some of yeah. them, I don't sleep with them. Yeah, I kiss them. It's, yeah. It's, is that cheating? Kissing is cheating? Yeah. Oh, this? Yes? Oh, okay. Uh, Read the Bible. Yes, let me make that ruling right now. Yes, it is. is. It... Um, you know, is it cheating? Ms. Nicholas, Ms. He, he's, Your Honor, he's been at this girl's house for two, three nights, and I'm yeah. trying calling him, I'll and he you. never picks up. You staying at an, another woman's house? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, see? You all obviously never heard the phrase, two wrongs don't make a right, yeah, have that's, you? you know, yeah. that's... Whoa! Two wrongs don't make a right. I know that, but the thing is, I gotta hear from another woman's perspective, what am I supposed to do? I can't just go talk to another guy, because if I were to talk to another guy, he's gonna be like, oh, slick Rick, and come in and try to take my woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take he's gonna be like, okay, that's your problem. Right. Mr. Nicholas, you know as a man you've gotten some things wrong. Yeah, of course. 
Yeah, if you apologize, I'm, we, won't, and we you, won't fight every single day like we at home. Huh. Just drop everything and start new. How am I like gonna, a normal how, couple. Yeah, dude, after, after all this stuff you, you did to me, I can't. You both have tears in your eyes right now. I can't sleep. I haven't slept for days just because I'm stressing about you. Sleep, yeah, no wonder you just keep on waking me up every time. I'm always with you 24 seven. What, okay, listen, <laughs> you wonder? He's accusing me that I'm cheating with another person, sneaking around at night, and half the time he's been awake and I'm always with him. Sounds That's like to me that both of you are accusing the other one of doing a lot of things, yeah. but the problem is is that both but of you Honor, are doing the no, other thing. Your, your Honor. But mm -hmm. at the end Can of I the day, that? I'm looking at Mr. Nicholas right now, and I see a man that's standing here emotional still over his wife. So I see love. Despite all of this dysfunction, I see love. And what the court is trying to understand is we've got children here now that I'm sure love the both of you. And I'm trying to get down to the bottom of not just whether or not Mr. Nicholas is their father, but why you two can't seem to love each other appropriately, mm -hmm. when you obviously do love each other. Yeah, I do love yeah, him. Yeah, I do love him. I just want everything to work out, all right? I want to be a happy family with white picket fence in front of our house. Oh. That's all I want, I just... I'm tired of being hurt. All right, I'm, I'm sorry tired. too. I'm sorry, that was no, the past. Can you just like go over the past and start new for once? Like, Nah, I'm sorry, it's gonna be done. It's gonna be done? It's done. I'm tired of being hurt. Miss Nicholas, what would you like to say to your husband? I love him a lot, but there's time I really do want to get out of the house because he's always just argue, argue, argue. I want to stop the arguing. I'm not controlling. Argue. I never control you. You never control me? No. Really? I let you go. I let you go out with your mom. No, you don't. <laughs> That's so lie. Oh no, I don't. We have the results here today, but I need some information before we get to the results. These results pertain to two beautiful children. You see them? Aren't they worth more than the tit for tat that you all do all day long? Yeah. Look at them. I believe. They are worth the effort. Come on now, tell me he don't look like me. <laughs> he does look like you. Come on. Yeah, just because we've got both ponytails, that doesn't mean anything. What do you want from your marriage and your family? I want him to stop calling me names for once and just be like a normal couple and just be there for the kids, not just say, oh, they're not my kids. I I'm tired of hearing that. I hear that almost every single day. And he wants you to stop Cheating? Can you do that? Yeah, I told him I stopped cheating. My no. when my son oh. was born, I said I'm gonna I'm gonna stop everything. I'm gonna tell you the truth from okay. now on that day. I've been telling you the truth every single day. All right, I think it's time for the results. Jerome, do you have the? Yes, I do. Here you go. Envelope. Thank you. When it comes to four-year-old Naomi Nicholas. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas, I know she's been the apple of your eye. Mm -hmm. You love that little girl. Mm -hmm. It has been determined that you are her father. <laughs> hey, I told you so! Get the lunch plate up, man. I told you so. I mean, tell me. Yeah, that's more. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Are you ready for the next result? Yes, ma'am. How about this? If the result's true, I'll get your 16 diamond ring back. How about that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. So, with that said, Jerome. Here you go, Jerome. Thank you, sir. As it relates to one-year-old Nathaniel Nicholas, it 
It has been determined, Mr. Nicholas, that you are his father. Exactly, I told you from the beginning. God, I told you. How do you feel, Mr. Nicholas? Relieved. Really relieved. I'm super happy. I'm gonna be the respectful father that they need. Good, Miss Nicholas. You're very emotional right now. What do you feel? I'm I'm relieved. I've been telling him this is his kids, but every single day he said, "Oh, those are my kids. They don't look like me." Come on I now. Apo- I apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you accept his apology? Can you understand honestly, Please as a woman, why this man would have some doubt? Everybody in here gets it. Do you? No, let's keep it real. Do you? Yeah, I messed up. Because the only way to move forward and change your past behavior is to realize and own what you've done wrong. Now, y'all done got it all wrong, both of you. (laughs) But you've got three incredible reasons why you should try to get it right. Now, there are a lot of people that come before me where I go, oh, I love it, I love it. Yes. I'm sorry. This is what this courtroom is all <laughs> I gotta look up to about. Her. That's all right. <laughs> That's wonderful to see. You all have been through it. You've done pretty much everything you guys can do to one another, but I still see love. I just want to say that. And as long as there's love, there's hope. And all it takes is for you both to decide that you want to be the, the kind of people that can love and connect and have a family. And both of you want the same things. Just make it happen. It's a choice. Do it for those children. They are worth it. I want you to raise a beautiful family and live the lives you want to live. Good luck to you both. Court is adjourned. I apologize for calling you all those names. I didn't mean to. No, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I accept that. No. I apologize. I'm really... All right, I'm really deeply sorry. Will you please forgive me? Yeah, forgive me. I will go home and work things out. Well, I love you. All right. I just want to be happy with the kids. He's mommy's boy. Daddy's girl, then. Mama's boy. High five. There you go.